Welcome to the house of Edgar. Come. Join us as we have first session of bedtime with Ben. So hi Ben. Uh, what what what's going on? <laughs> this is um, another episode of our into your interviews with um, some cast members, and we're just going to kind of unpack. Um, me, really. Uh, the first thing is, yeah, the first thing is, what is your role in the housemaker and what do they, what function do they form in the plot? Great, great, really great question. Thank you for asking that as well. That's good. Cool. Um, so I played the madman, um, and this is the madman from Poe's famous tale, mm -hmm. The Tale Tale Heart. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good tale. It's, um, I think it's one of the most, one of the more exciting ones. The, all the tales in the show are quite exciting, in my opinion. But this one's particularly so, because it's just so cruel um, and brutal, and the climax is particularly thrilling. It's essentially about a madman, me, um, a gentleman who really has no ill will towards his master, his, his innkeeper, whoever this old gentleman is, um, except for the fact that he's vexed, terribly, terribly vexed, by his eyes, this old man's eyes, um, and and it causes him to stay up late all night, kind of, kind of like peering and listening and looking, um, and it drives him to murder. Um, brilliant release. It's a brilliant release for him. Um, he essentially punctures these, this man's eyes out, um, <laughs> it gives him such a thrill, um, but then he's suddenly washed with this horrific guilt and the police come knocking at the door and he confesses. That is a great story. He's so exciting as a character, because, and particularly for me, I'm really enjoying playing him because he's, he's particularly challenging, he's, he's, he's earnest. And he, but he's also delusional, so he's, um, he, there's lots of conflicting things going on, and um, um, the way Tom's written um, the song is, is particularly, you know, um, challenging for me, because it's, it's, it's got a really swish pace. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's like a, it's a kind of like a rap, but it's also an opportunity to have a dialogue with the audience, and that's yeah. what I'm really loving um, about that. Um, and it's a particular exciting performing on the mile. Um, I stared oh. out a, a, a child, at the very end, when I grasp my heart, overcome by grief and guilt. And I won the battle with the child. <laughs> the timing is so... Uh, and I still don't even know if I'm getting the timing right. But the timing, <laughs> Tom's very on it and, I'm, and I try and be as on it as, as the band are. Yeah. The band are there drilling themselves and I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to drill myself as well. Yeah. Um, and it's exciting that we're, this, the cast is so impressive because we're all striving for perfection. Yeah. And there we are every night kind of racking our brains for what can we improve? Yeah. And um, for me, it's always just giving a bit more conviction and to keep playing with it because that's always fun, isn't it? Yeah. So that was a really great discussion about the tales. <laughs> that was an excellent discussion. Yeah, no, the, like, the conviction has resulted in some injury to your nerves. <laughs> yeah, no, truly, truly. Um, I, I don't really have any problems with that, but sometimes in the performance I, I whip off my hat. Um, what's the number? What's the what's the line? It's um, I knelt down by the side and gazed upon the source of my rage, of my pain, of my fear and disdain, of an evil, cold and coarse. Yeah. From his mouth could you relate to one still? And I kill him. Yeah. Like I punch the hat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the moment I the hat! It was particularly painful last night actually, and I kind of reeled from the pain and I stood up and shook a bit and then delivered a deadly soliloquy. <laughs> um, you always do scare the crap out of everybody in the front row as well. <laughs> it's like, well. But like in the best way, in like, in like the, wow, this is insane. <laughs> like, that's I, I'm sure I also get a bit wet from my projectile spitting. <laughs> I was going to say something else. Um, Yes. Good. Never mind. I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy for the challenge. Oh, I remember like one of the nights, like you finished the number and I saw you walk to the back of the stage and like your, the whites of your eyes were actually red. 
and like, because <laughs> you've like just been exerting yourself so much, and it was just like, oh, it was very intense. They look cool though. Thanks. There's another role you play in it as well, isn't it? Yes, that good segue, Kate! <laughs> now that is the role of the king in Hot Frog. The king's a really good role because <laughs> uh, well, I find myself sometimes being really weak. Um, I perform my own, I kind of lapse into, you know, like, I'm dead already, which is kind of this dodgy Richard III fingering of my Q-tips. Um, <laughs> Q-tips. And now we've tried to tone it back and go for a kind of um, uh, this ditzy gentleman who's just, you know, who kind of thing, who kind of, you know, fingers his crown a bit, um, but he's not so... Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it actually also because when I get burnt by the fabric, <laughs> I start to like I get really angry. Yeah. And like and last night I started to kind of dribble. <laughs> I and didn't that, see that. It was great vile. Um but Bess next to me kind of with her goosely eyes and I'm <laughs> dribbling, dribbling, dribbling next to her. <laughs> Lesson number one in being burnt. Dribble like a baby. Where does your leg end? I think it's good. Where does my knee start? Because my foot is where your knee is. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing a dressing gown, everyone. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> Gorgeous. I've seen some really super shows, um, a few super shows, and I'm just really enjoying my flat. I mean, they're just, yeah. they're just a really good group of gentlemen I'm, I'm, just, I'm living with, and I'm and the, <laughs> And a woman. <laughs> You've given everybody nicknames, have you? Is Owen's just, nickname just Owen? Owen's is Oin. Oin's <laughs> Owen. O I N. Lucas kind of veers. Lucas is. Just, oh, they're just such sweethearts, every single one of them, but Luke, Lucas is is particularly gentle. I call him Lewis. Or, yes. or Lou, or, or Luke. Um, Owen's just, you know, in a different galaxy of <laughs> talent. Um, I call him Owen. <laughs> Um, <laughs> James is is utterly superb and um, well-meaning and um, switched on. Um, and he's James to me, and Tom is Tommy. And oh, today is I kind of slip, hot boy. <laughs> <laughs> My lips of condemnation. <laughs> um, damn those lips! <laughs> damn. damn those lips! Um, Alice and I are sleeping in the same bed, which is great fun. It really is. Yeah. Um, but I'm a tiny bit of a restless sleeper, so sometimes my um, I flail a bit in bed. So yeah, so some I woke up one night with my my leg over her. Uh, I meant no harm by it, of course. Um, but it was just it was so silly of me, and I had to stop it. Get it out of your head now! <laughs> And this is why I started to sleep on the very corner of my bed, because I just don't want to like accidentally touch her. Like accidentally like li li put my elbow in her bosom or something. <laughs> it's not. It what is this? What is that? That is um, Who's this? That is oh, I can't remember his what he's called. He's from Game of Thrones. He's Oh, is he? Yeah. Uh Ramsey Bolton. Yes, Ramsey, yes. Ramsey yeah. Bolton. <laughs> Ah, oh, life in the house. Um, yes. But yeah. D. I don't even know what day is anymore. <laughs> D. Twelve. This is a really. Yes. Mama, life. <laughs> Every mic test is just mama. Actually, no. Oh, it's always. Pick a cup of pretty kettle, pick a cup of pretty kettle, pick a cup of pretty kettle. Da 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 da. The nearness of the house. And the time is like a sharp and sense of sensitivity is nervous of the nearness of the top of the top of the Then to the left, I slowly pushed the lonely door side with disbelief. Leaf one week from his feet, his eyes peel back wide. I tried to do the Charlie Chaplin like smile at the women. His eyes peel back wide! We better wrap it up, shouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, we we'll probably wrap it up. This has been a really lovely, really lovely session. Thank you for running these. You've been really, doing a really super job with all these blogs. Um, Thank you. And it's important to drum out sort of support. Oh, um, yes. And, and you know, just give everyone an inside peek into what's going on. And I'm really grateful. Yeah, um, yeah, no, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, but what we're going to do now is just kind of sign off. Um, and book a book a book. Thank you so much for watching all these um, videos. We're really, really grateful. 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I have. Um, the House of Edgar is an amazing show. It's um, kind of um, a gothic opera. It's an original show inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's most famous ghost stories. It's at the Radisson Blue on the Mar, and we'd love to see you there. Thank you so much for coming. Good night. Good night. Thank That's you. sincerity for you. Sincerity. <laughs> Guilty! <laughs>